12th of september at 2023 remember guys to like share comment and follow so guys our president emma sumnangagwa appointed six non constituency ministers into his cabinet out of possible seven from outside parliament some of the ministers had lost their seats prior to the election in 2018 the non constituency ministers included individuals like professor Turinobi, finance professor amon murira higher education Chrissy Coventry, Sports Dr. Obadia Moyo, Health and July Moyo, a local government. The non constituency ministers for the period of 2023 to 2028 are Chrissy Coventry, Mangaliso Lovo, Tulinobe, Ziambi Ziambi, Amon Murira, and Anxious Masuka. Mangaliso Lovo, a former tourism minister, lost his seat as his previous constituency, Mulilima East, merged into a new constituency called Bolilima. The seat was won by Dingumuzi Puti, who was the member of parliament for Bolilima West. However, Lovu has been given a new role. To accommodate him, President Nangagwa split the old ministry, appointing Barbara Rodzi as the Minister of Tourism and Hospitality, while retaining Lovu as the Minister of Environment, Climate and Wildlife. Tonga M. Nangagwa, the President's nephew and MP for Harare South, was named as Lovu's deputy and so president Nangagwa was split and was split um, ministry here and the minister of uh, tourism and hospitality and uh, then Vaga, the Rafuti minister of environment climate and wildlife i mean minister uh, Rodzi was supposed to take everything there and the minister of tourism and hospitality environment climate and wildlife but she was split 22 but but anyway, uh, Dr. Anxious Masuka exempted from constituency politics uh, to focus on reviving the agriculture sector. Masuka and John Basera were recognized as top performers in the 2022 evaluation. Masuka will serve as a non constituency legislator, according to Mnangagwa's column in the Sunday Mail and Sunday News. He wrote, I've released Minister Anxious Masuka from the distractions of constituency politics so he so focus and so politics led to this one goal of transforming our agriculture for a food secure nation for all times he will be a non-constituency member of parliament so he has enough time to live think and dream of agriculture only in 2022 zimbabwe achieved a record wheat harvest as farmers delivered over 375,000 tons the grain marketing board gmb before last year's output, the highest ever wheat output since commercial production began in the 1960s was 325,000 tons, released in 1990. Zambi Zambi was reappointed as a non constituency member of, of Justice, Legal and Parliamentary Affairs. Despite losing in the ZANPF primary elections, attempts to save him through a rerun indicated his continued favor. Zambi's history of pushing legislation to strengthen President Mnangagwa's power is not surprising. He demonstrated his loyalty by criticizing observer reports. His deputy is lawyer Nobet Mazungunye, who won against Fortune Chassis in the ZANPF primaries. Mturin Ngobe retains the Ministry of Finance, now called Finance and Investment Promotion. He lost his constituency seat but was reappointed as a non constituency minister. Despite development initiatives, criticism remains for austerity measures, currency issues, and economic instability. Public skepticism lingers regarding his ability to address this concern. Ngobe's experience and qualifications. Chief Economist and Vice President of the African Development Bank, expertise in finance, economics, investment, and public policy, entrepreneur and academic, professor at the University of Oxford, teaching economic development, public policy, and business in Africa, HSBC Distinguished Professor of Banking and Financial Markets at the University of the Witwatersrand, founder and former CEO of Babakin Bank. Lecture in Finance at the London School of Economics, Dean and Professor of Finance at Wits Business School, Board Member of the South African Financial Services Board, Chairman of the National Small Business Advisory Council, Chairman of the Board of the African Economic Research Consortium, Minister of Finance and Investment Promotion in Zimbabwe uh, since 2018. And, uh, so Amon Murira is another non-constituency minister who was appointed by President Nangagwa 
is an academic and was retained as Minister of Higher Education, Science and Technology Development. He holds a PhD in Geoinformation Science and his expertise in GSI, a remote sensing. Gurira worked as an ecologist in Zimbabwe's Department of Natural Resources and is a fellow of the Zimbabwe Academy of Sciences. So guys, these are non-constituency ministers who will be with us for the next five years and until uh, 2028. But it's all in the comment section. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow and attend on the notification bell. You're listening and watching to weekly news roundup. Bless up.